Hello everybody and welcome to a special episode of the New Challenger. I'm your host, New Challenger. I didn't even know I had a show, but I guess I do. In this episode, a very special video because I didn't want to record anything. Because I was just like, I didn't want to record any secret evermore. We're just kind of due next Monday. It was supposed to be due on Friday, as you might have noticed. But we don't have a fucking... Or no. How does this work? Yeah. Today was supposed to be Axie and Verge, and then Friday was supposed to be... Secret Evermore. That's right. Yeah. Fuck that shit, though. So we're gonna be playing this. I don't know what this is. I'm scared. It's a Crows, Crows, Crows game. They're the same people who did Dr. Langowski or something like that. It's the, uh... We played it a while ago. It says visuals and audio. Mandatory. Headphones are not recommended. But I have headphones on because they just attached to my microphone and it's awesome. The Crush 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 is also a... It's a kind of company created by the designer of the Stanley Parable. So, hey, we're going to be playing this. This is something called, like, the Tomb of Dr. No, I think. I... I don't know. Right. So, this is a Cross 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 game designed and illustrated by Dominic Johan. Written and voice acted by William Pa. I think that's the same person who did, uh... Stanley Parable, but I'm not entirely sure. I know William Pa is somebody, or Pug, or whatever. It's somebody that I have heard the name of before. So let's just get right down to it. This game is made in Twine. Click on underlined words to play. Well, first of all, what do you mean by it was made in Twine? Yeah, well, nobody's perfect. Wait. <laughs> do you mean like the fucking rope-like substance Twine? Okay. Underlined words to play. Uh... Underlined words. Hello. This story may frighten and disturb you. But if you have a strong stomach, a smart brain box, and a cool face, then perhaps you are brave enough to hear it. What? Please don't interrupt me while I'm explaining what's about to go down. This story may fright. Listen, this is a twine. You're acting like you've never played a twine before. So please, just... Mm. This story, what, seriously? Never played a twine before? Well, you're about to be spoiled because it's going to be the best twine ever made. Yeah, that's right. Even better than the beginning of Firewatch. Well, actually, I never played Firewatch, so, uh, fuck you. This twine, this joke isn't funny anymore. And it's your fault for continuing to click on it. Don't do it again. This twine. Does anybody else hear fire? Ah, yeah, that's far. Uh, I just want to do something really stupid. It'll probably ruin everything, but... Okay, so, yeah. So, hopefully, right? I know, I'm getting louder. I'm doing some on-the-spot gain adjustment on the microphone, but it's so where you can hear the audio of the game as well without me going like that. I guess that's also happening. I just don't know how loud this gets. So, brave enough to hear it. Scared. Okay. Uh, brave like a storm, a bear, or a sailor. I am brave like... Hmm. I've never thought about this before. I mean... I used to look up Sailor Moon. So, wait, what the hell is that... What the hell's that? What the? Awesome. That changed the audio. That was weird. Okay. Uh, I guess Sailor Moon. Sailor. Enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? N not really. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. Are you ready? I guess I am. Good. This is a story... Right, that's it. No, no more of these. That took place a long time ago. It's a good one. Anyway, let's get out this old dusty tome and hear of this fantastic tale. It's called... The Brave, Like a Sailor, Explore the Jungle of Doubt and the Temple of No. As I look over and there was like a weird shadow thing for two seconds. Ah! 
Presented by Crow Crow Crow. It's name I thought I could click on. Let's begin, shall we? I'm just gonna turn the game down a tiny bit. Hold on. All right, so we're back to normal, but I'm turning the volume up. That works. Cool. Perfect. So three amigos. Okay. So this is a magical book. Its magic power is to be incredibly relatable. Are we a woman, a bloke, or a frog? Well, I'm a woman, and I actually kind of have her type of hairstyle, the super bushy ponytail. So, so, Amy, very pretty name, started her adventure in, a, in the way she often started her adventures, taking a long drink from her hip flask and looking out at the setting sun. On her table were three things. A letter from a lost love, a magazine she read as a teenager, an Oregon State driver's license. Wait a second. This is sounding like the run of the mill generic twine. A twine is like a game but for teenagers who want to be in the past. Ah, okay. Didn't know that. This isn't a story about Portland, Oregon, or state driver license. It's not even fucking set in the United States. Fucking yanks. Let's start a couple pages and get to the good shit. Well, I wanna up uh, I'm gonna have to censor that. Let's look at the letter of the lost love. Oh, you ripped the letter. Oops. A magazine she was a teenager. Can I... You could have been reading the frog backstory by now. And uh, a copy of Gone Home. That's a game I actually always wanted to play, but it's $20 and that's too much. It's fun price. She remembered the amber light as they kissed underneath the... Nope. Keep going. Wait. Who was kissing who? Uh, uh, the fresh spring rain would soon fall. She opened her drawer and saw the flight tickets she had booked for. Yeah, right. Keep turning. Turn to ash. The frogs hopped around in the pond, and as she moved slowly on, her parents' words came back to her. Amy, remember the explorer's oath. Look, don't tut. Fuck's sake, I swear this gets good soon. The dog yapped and yapped. Zona shouted, You're nothing like Conical Flask. He was a good dog with a roar. Amy knew this woman would never cease to. We must be nearly there. The baboon gave a mighty screech and tore upon her face like a primate threshing machine. Keep going. Wait, wait, wait. G go back one. Turn back page. I. Can I. What? Oh, that was weird. Turn back page. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, which does explain how Amy lost her eye. So she fought a baboon on one of her early adventures. Sorry. I guess we're turning 50 more pages. What the hell are we looking for exactly? Oh! <laughs> Fucking junket transition in audio. You know, it's just a pressing question and have this. Right. Okay. Nope. Fucking, you know, taking that up. Taking the headphones off. Crap shit. Fuck. Alright, let's go right into the story. Me into the jungle of death on a jungle to find. Oh, thank Christ Almighty. The map that sees all things that never have been or will be, but in map form. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yeah, you know the old tales. Yeah. Anyways, Sammy so knew she proper wanted the map to tell her the secrets of the universe. If she brought the map back to civilization, spelled wrong, I'm sure of. She would truly achieve greatness. She knew it in her warm, fleshy human heart. The temple that held the map was close. I'm guessing this is in the UK. Or the people who created this are in the UK. Which makes me laugh because civilization is probably spelled that way over there. It's not, you know, aluminum. It's aluminium and it's not herbs. It's herbs because there's a fucking H in there. Thank you, Eddie Izzard, for that joke. Amy looked up, down, all around. I'm going to go with all around because all around. All around at the jungle surrounding her. She had to cut through the leaves to brush and flora and jungle debris in order to get to the temple that she was going to. As Amy cut through the leaves and brush and flower, uh, flora and jungle debris, she th thought about some shit. Sang a little song or considered the possibility that life was futile. Ah. Uh, well... I was born in charming woman who sold a temporal tea. That's not how it's supposed to end. We promise all we dream. The envy of every man, a family, seeing completed father was a charming man, a mother, or sorry. 
She thought she would sing a little song. You, the player, must sing along to the background music with these lyrics. If you don't, you will know that you have let yourself down. If you didn't really fucking enjoy this game, it will be because you didn't put the effort in. These lyrics is the song she sung. I'm cutting the leaves. I'm pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. My name is Amy and I'm singing a song. To take up the time when I travel along the path to the temple of no, that is where I'm going to go. I'm cutting the leaves, I'm pushing past the trees, and I'm slashing away at these brush flora and jungle debris. I don't even, how the hell have I been sticking with this so far? I'm going, I'm going on an adventure today. This game is really, really fun to play. Twine games can be fun, I will shout. Check me out, singing in the jungle of doubt. I'm cutting the leaves, I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. Soon I'll be at the temple of no. It's got lots of treasure and I'm going to go. Take some back to my hometown. Keep it for myself and I share me around. I am cutting the leaves. I am pushing past the trees. I am slashing away at these brush flora and jungle debris. <laughs> if you didn't sing the song, then you know you've let yourself down. You need to let yourself have fun in your life. Don't try and be so serious. If you didn't sing the song, Please scroll back up and try again. If you did sing the song, well done, you are cool now. Well, thank you. Amy wasn't there yet. She still had much more jungle to cut, so she thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered, uh, I think about shit all the time, so let's do that. Amy thought about how her feet were hurting her a bit. Actually, that's kind of fucking, uh, real right now after the. Uh, name change petition. One of my toes looks fucking necrotic, so there's that. Thanks, Flats. Thanks, people at the courthouse for not dressing properly and therefore having me look like an asshole when I dressed properly. Fuck all of you. She wished she'd bought some Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe. Trademark. She continued to think. And we thought about how her nose was itchy. If she'd bought Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, trademark, she would likely have had such comfortable feet that she wouldn't be bothered by a meager nose itch. She continued to think, Geox, the shoes that breathe. Fucking hell, Amy thought. Still a ways to go. She thought about futility for a while. Then she remembered that it wasn't any fun to think about, so she thought about a frog doing a little dance. Yeah, do to do do to do do frog dance. Okay, I feel like something's gonna jump scare at me. Finally, Amy stopped imagining things. What a fucking weirdo. She did it. Thought about some shit, sang a little song, and considered the possibility that life was futile. Yes, light. Amy emerged from the jungle and saw the temple of No. I'm putting my uh headphones back on for this. I think all the scary poo poo stuff is like over, but just in case, I, I know I can just take them off at any second. Amy marveled at its magnificence. Probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Like that, I didn't even realize the music was gonna get that big. Like that is big. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere just sitting around here giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs. Up, up. Fucking up the stairs we go. And then the temple. The temple of no. Right, so it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath. Look, do not touch. I have a problem with that logic. Technically, while I'm walking around, my feet are touching the floor. And I can't exactly levitate. I wish I could. That would be my one superpower. Amy carefully walked around, uh, sorry. Amy carefully walked down the dusty and or spooky corridor of the temple, being extra careful not to touch anything. She arrived in a large hall with three doors that I'm going to have to touch. 
I assume. Three. Three doors. Three. Three. That is one plus two. Three doors. <laughs> right. It's selection time, everybody. Well, let's see. There's a dot version of the Triforce, which I would trust. The Omega symbol, which reading lock and key, I will never trust again. And, or anti-left. Problem. Can I? Mm -hmm. there's, there's just a door that's not going to be loved. That's depressing. Uh, I wish I could Twitch stream this and have like the straw poll glowing, go, growing, glowing, going. But uh, considering that uh, Breath of the Wind just got a trailer and a name and a kind of confirmed challenge by me because I guess you can fight the final boss at the very beginning of the game. Let's go with the Dot Triforce because there was no way I was going in the middle. Oh, wow. It's the Spike Room. Remember Spike Mi Mil Milligan? No? Good. Webster's Dictionary defines Spike as <clears throat> a very large nail. One of a row of pointed irons placed as on top, of, as on the top of a wall to prevent passage. One of several meta projections set in the sole and heel of a show to impro- No way, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm. I guess we should turn back around. Well, anti-left. Oh, dude. Oh, I heard snakes. Oh, dude, in this room, there's a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember that game, Snake? Remember how it had actual gameplay? Can't make Snake entwine, can you? Huh, <laughs> no. Let's talk to the snakes. Hey, snakes. Ellipses. I heard a bang. JRPG. JRPG. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though. Unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure. Which I personally don't. Yep. So that was the spooky snake room. Sorry if you got scared. Back in here, I guess. Well, I guess there was only one way left. Give me two seconds. Cool. Uh, I guess we're going to the mega door. So I only entered the big old big room. Okay, wow. More stairs in here. Let's climb. Climb up and up and up. That was a weird. Yes. Remember back at the start, this twine game when you picked Sailor Storm, blah, blah. Yeah, those were good times. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Run. Run, girl. There's danger. Real present danger. Are you excited? Scream if you want to progress to the next section of the game. Ah! If no door is left to the right path. Can no door truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps this is the meaning of this tale. That you can go through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms... And still, you'll never find what you were looking for. Wow. Makes you think, eh? Makes you think. But there's another door right there. JRPG. 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 The end. JRPG. Oh, wait, no, there was another door over to the right. Let's do it. Amy entered the door and found the Great Leader's Chamber. Who looks like a fucking Adventure Time character. So yeah. There's also a piece of paper and a light bulb. On the seat was the Great Leader. Sorry on set. His voice echoed through the room, and he listened. Um, he listened some more, story. and proceeded to. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. So I, um, enough, used to be a shoe salesman, you know, I sold, um, you know, 
know, shoes aren't a size to people's shoes. Interesting. A cobbler. That's just seriously just going to go on about how he's a cobbler, isn't it? Wait, what? What? Okay, so Cobbler back room is a fucking teleporter. Okay. Okay, fuck this. Well, um, <laughs> sorry. No, okay, um, sorry. I am really sorry, but, um, that, you can't have the map, okay? Um, so, sorry, there's been a bit of a, uh, miscommunication here. Um, the map, old artifact of the temple, okay? Uh huh. Predates me, predates me, predates a whole load of people, you know? Um, why? I decide to steal it. Kill him! <gasps> but little did she know in killing the great leader trademark, she would become the great leader trademark and violate the explorer's oath. No! How could Amy have forgot the explorer's oath? It was très importante. French! Now as her new great leader. Trademark. Loyalists approached her, ready to worship her as a new god. Amy decided right here, right now, if she would break vows and totally be a cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map and escape back to Civilization V. Which I do own. So I'm going with that one. And that's what she did. That's what Amy did. Or should I say, that's what I did. That's right, fools. I'm old Amy. And that shit happened to me. I don't know what lessons I learned or if I learned any lessons at all. But I got the math. I got it. And it's giving me many pieces of insight. And because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. That it has a battery (laughs) on it. Wisdom is, have you ever played a good game made in twine? Like, one that's actually good, not just good for a twine game. That's it. It's the end. Thanks for playing. Signed and illustrated by Dominic Johan. Written in a voice acted by William Pugh. Produced by Kevin Patterson. Hosted on Itch.io. Want to try your hand at making a good game in Twine? Download the game source code on GitHub. I almost said get good. Scrub. GitHub. Ambient sounds by Free Sound and SoundSnap. The Dancing Frog song is Gold Rush by Kevin MacLeod. Boulder Scene audio from Raiders of the Lost Ark by Steven Spielberg. For more games and surprises, join the Secret Email Club. Working on more games right now, and we'd love to tell you about them. Sign up below and we'll be in touch. No thank you, just because I don't want people to see my email. And because I can do that. Click here to play again. Your friends at Crows, Crows, Crows. I guess that was it. That was the temple of Mr. Dr. No. I don't know who Dr. No is. I'm assuming it's the Aztec God. But that was a game. That was a thing. That was an experience. And I'm happy for bringing you all on with me. We had some fun times. We sang a song. We thought about life's futility. And we ran from a boulder. And went through a door with an Omega symbol on it. 
Mm-hmm. I knew that was the one that was going to have the most action. And nearly kill me. Because it had the fucking Omega symbol on it. Damn you, lock and key. You taught me so much and I didn't learn from you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Ah. So, that's been the temple of Dr. No. I've been your host, New Challenger. Tune in next time for whatever the fuck I post.